if your Halloween Village or War Game platform has this much detail or is this complex, this video today is probably not for you. This is for people who are new to working with foam to make dioramas and will show you how to hide cords and there is no painting required for this build. I'm really excited to share some of these techniques with you. Welcome to Black Cat Crafts, a channel dedicated to spooky dioramas and other related crafts. This video's expansion to my cemetery coordinates with the cemetery gate piece and takes a lot of the design cues from it to add a cohesive look. So when you look at the cemetery gate, the first thing you might notice is the dirt path that goes through the arch. The ramp up into the cemetery echoes that look. Same thing with the rock wall. I took a lot of the grays and blacks from the brick on the cemetery gate and echoed it. Even though they're, they're rocks and not bricks, it looks really nice and unified as an overall piece. Supplies include pink foam, spray paint. You'll need the spray paint techniques from this video, the easy Halloween platform video. Uh, spray paint does have an interesting effect with the foam that you'll need to plan for. We also use Mod Podge and some printables. Speaking of printables, let's check out step one. We're going to open up our laptop and do a little bit of editing in Microsoft Word. So you don't need any special software for this particular project. I downloaded that image of a rock wall from the copyright free image archives and then made some minor edits to get the rock wall about an inch high. So I did cut out some of the image and as you can see, I moved three pieces together to get the rock wall that I need. My particular platform is rather small, so I only needed the top one to cover the full face of the rock wall and then I cut off the top of the other one to make the top of the rock wall, which I'll show you later. Don't forget to adjust your settings to narrow the margins and make this landscape so it prints off all in one piece. Step two. We're going to take the cemetery gate and use it to plan for the dirt path. My design has my path offset, so not in the center of the pink foam platform because that is what works best with my overall diorama. You may need to move it laterally in the project to work for you. So do what's best for you there. Once I've roughly measured where I want my path to go, I start to gradually dig into the foam. So you'll want the thinnest part of the foam near the bottom. And then as you push back into the project, you'll gradually increase the angle of your cut to make the top of the path level with the top of the foam. This process is going to feel raw and organic. You may need to make several cuts into the foam to remove the excess while you get the ramp the exact angle that you're looking for. So as you see there, this is not the final piece it's not, it's not it doesn't need to be perfect at this stage so don't be too hard on yourself if your first cuts don't yield the end product just continue to make small adjustments my overall philosophy is better to take off a little at first and then continue rather than taking off too much because then if it's too much your project may be ruined and you may need to start over so in addition to using cutting motions, you saw just a moment ago that I took the, the, the knife and actually kind of brushed it across the top. That does pull away some of the material. Um, so you could use different techniques like that and what you're seeing there, those very shallow cuts to remove additional material. Again, very gently with the goal of not removing too much all at once and then taking off more than I expected.
and done. This is going to look so good when it's finished. I'm really excited for this project. Here's another version showing you again how great this path is going to look. Now you do see the wire poking out there. That's a disappointment that I will show you how to get rid of in step three. So when I say get rid of the wire, I'm not saying cut it off. We're gonna hide it in this video. And a lot of people may just stick it under the other piece of foam. You know, that, that could work, but it's not ideal. The best way to ensure that your pieces last a long time is to actually make small modifications to protect the electrical. So what you're seeing here is I'm cutting off a very thin layer of the pink foam, the, the corner, and I'm doing it at roughly a 45 degree angle. That cord on the cemetery gate piece is very, very small, so I don't need to cut off much. If you're doing this with a different piece that has a thicker cord, I'm not worried about that. Cut off as much of this as you need to hide the cord. And there you go, quick and easy. Now the cord is hidden and it is a much smoother, much more professional look. It looks great. This is gonna be absolutely phenomenal once we get the finishing touches on it, the paint and the rock wall. So let's move on to step four. Step four is all about the paint. So earlier in this video, I did tease that we have a different video, uh, the Easy Platform, that shows you how to paint with spray paint. Um, some of it's demoed here. Basically what you want is a nice, even coat to make everything roughly dirt brown. After that, we'll move on to step five, the rock wall. Take one piece of your printable and roughly measure how far it needs to go. Now, I did not choose to use a ruler for this. The edge of my piece is a little raw, it's a little chunky, and I was pretty confident I could do it by just you know, using a pencil to trace where the edge needed to be, and then planning for a little bit of the rock wall to wrap around, just like that. I'm making a mark there, and then I'll take it off screen to cut it. I'll do a quick dry fit to make sure it looks exactly the way I want it. You should do this too and make any adjustments before the next step, which is gluing it on. Before I glue this on, I wanna make sure the crease is very firm, so that way I know exactly where my piece needs to go and it's all lined up. This is Mod Podge. I like it better than a white glue because it has a bit of a gloss finish. And I like that look for my pieces since a lot of my Halloween Village pieces have a little bit more of a gloss themselves. I'm putting it both on the piece and on the back of the paper to increase the adhesion. You're starting to see there that the paper is rolling as it's sucking up some of the moisture. That's a problem that you fix by putting a light coat of the Mod Podge on the front. So I'm not going to use the brush and scrub it in. As you can see there, I'm just doing a very light touch to get the Mod Podge on all sides. This will decrease the chance of wrinkling and also tearing, making sure this has a smooth, uniform look. So as you can see, I, I, it's really fast how quickly this stuff dries if you're using just a light amount. This looks great. Really happy with the first side of the project. Let's move on to the second side. You'll do the same process. First, add the Mod Podge to the foam board.
Next, add the Mod Podge to the back of your printable. Make sure you use a fairly light but consistent coat. That's why I'm using a brush. It makes this so easy. That brush is nice and, and wide, um, perfect for this project. And then once you fit it into place, very gently add a thin coat of the Mod Podge to the front. You're able to use the brush to make final adjustments to get this exactly where you want it to go. Now you may be noticing the raw edge on the right. At the end of the video, we do add some extra pieces to have the rock wall look like it's falling apart. I thought that was a wonderful final touch. It worked for this piece, but is not something you need to do if it doesn't match what your project needs. Now add glue to the top of your piece this glue will allow you to put on the top of the rock wall. This is a printable, and I took that second piece that you saw on the computer screen and just cut off the first row of those rocks. It's relatively straight, which is one of the wonderful things about this printable. And so I was able to get it to look just right. Now I flipped the original orientation of the piece because I thought the rocks matched up better. And then as you can see, I roughly cut it into place before adding the Mod Podge to the top to get the glue to cover all sides of the piece. Some of my Mod Podge did start to dry, so I needed to use a little extra persuasion <laughs> to get the top of this to stay on. That's the one tricky thing about this is, is you'll need to move very fast. So that Mod Podge will dry clear. You may have seen just a second ago, there was a little bit of a line on the front of the rock wall. That was just the Mod Podge drying. It's not visible in the final piece. So use your finger to make sure you've got full contact with the paper and the Mod Podge on the foam. Adding a little extra Mod Podge if you think it's necessary. And I wanted to add that here just to make sure that this stays on as long as I need it to. Continue the process with the other side. You'll use the same steps as before. Don't worry about this really thick coat of Mod Podge. It will dry clear. And once you're satisfied with it, trim off the last long end of the top of the rock wall. And move on to step six. Step six is one of my favorites because it is all about the decoration. So I added those bushes, the hanging moss, uh, some of the grass, and I also cut out a few of the extra rocks that I had to make it look like the rock wall is falling apart. So we did have that raw edge. I wanted something more organic, something a little more decrepit. So I wanted this look, but you may want a flat rock wall and that's great for you. Same process as before with the Mod Podge and then layering Mod Podge on top giving us a final look that will dry clear and make it appear that this rock wall is falling down. I'm also using a finger to make sure I get full contact with that paper at the top. And I added a little extra Mod Podge as you can see there. The final result looks amazing. So here's what we have, the cemetery gate with dirt path and added platform for additional cemetery pieces like the ghost, the fountain, 
I've even got a little guy coming out of a grave. That's another project that I did. Uh, pretty easy, doesn't require a lot of artistic skills. This is Black Cat Crafts. I'm so happy that you joined us today. I hope you check out some of our other videos about Halloween village platforms, decorations, and other customizations. We'll see you back soon.